Hey man, what's good with y'all, boy? Hey, I'm finna put y'all niggas on, bro. This dunk, hold up, man. These motherfuckers riding dirt bikes and all type of shit in my shit. I'm finna put y'all on how to like time this dunk meter and all that shit. Cause I know people need help. A lot of motherfuckers don't even like the motherfucking dunk meter, but I'm finna put y'all on, bro. Cause ain't nobody else really putting y'all on. Y'all already know I'm the dunk time demon and all that, bro. I'ma go and put y'all on like how to uh time y'all dunks right. Let's go and get into it. to the Gatorade facility. This obviously for motherfucking next gen only shit. The current gen motherfuckers ain't got no dunk meter. The dunk meter, bro, it's it's gonna make you win games more, bro. It's gonna make you win way more than lose, bro. Y'all see, I barely be losing when I do play, bro. Like, if I'm losing, it ain't got nothing to do with me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Can't nobody stop me from scoring. I always go, bro. You gotta have Intimidator. You gotta have all the Hall of Fame badges to even stop. Your badges gotta stop me. Not even necessarily you. Man, look at them over there 1v1. -ing. Listen, man. The dunk meter is really easy to use, bro. Don't be scared of it for real. Like, look, hey, you see that, bro? Like, I always get that mug to the T. I say this necessarily won't be the best way to, like, practice your dunks. But I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all all my dunks before anything. Okay, if you want to dunk like me, literally like me, put on all the dunks y'all see. You see, I got the contacts on. These contacts, you're going to need them. If you want to dunk on a nigga, you want to bitch all that shit dunking on niggas. This this all me right here. This is all me right here. Hey, all that. We don't get the small ones. We get the hey. Hey. We get all these. Hey. These are the good contact dunks right here, bro. Oh, this how you trigger them right here? I ain't even know that you got you gotta draw a look close to trigger some of these for real. But uh we on the you we don't use none of these. If you got any of these dunks on right here, take them bitches off. Take all these motherfuckers off. Get these little elite alley oops and all that shit though. You want these. Now these little contact alley oops, keep them on too, bro. Keep these bitches on. Now motherfucking contact dunks for the two foot. You already know, keep them on. I think I already went over that. You need these reverse and you need the quick drops too. To make sure you got these quick drops in reverse. Quick drop for real, bro. Quick drop is the main one that you gonna motherfucking need. That's the main dunk you gonna need because that's the best dunk that don't get blocked. All right, those are my dunks. Y'all got them, y'all got them. All right, so what y'all really want to do is, this is the best way, bro. Okay, just go to my career. This is the best shit, I'm telling y'all. Go to my career, you can put it on any difficulty. This is for practice. If you really truly want to get good at this dunk shit, Use the dunk meter, y'all. I'm telling y'all, use the dunk meter. You wondering why you ain't dunking on niggas as often and all that. Or you scared to dunk. When you use the dunk meter, if you got a high ass... Hey, look, people following. I ain't even streaming. But if you using the um the good dunk meter, bro... I said the good dunk. What am I talking about? If you using the dunk meter all the time, bro, you barely gonna be blocked. Niggas gonna need all the Hall of Fame badges to even get close to blocking you, bro. Like You gotta use it at the right time. Like I would say... I'm gonna give y'all an example. If y'all need my cigs... Man, the six. I'm gonna put a card on the video. My six video right there, man. If y'all need any of my six, it's, you can't get the curry slot right now. So I say, for the spot that the curry slot need to be for the escape, just use Trey Young, bro. That's the best one. So you see, we got these mud bubbers. I ain't gonna try to cuss too much, man. You see, we got these dudes on the team right here. Just go on, motherfucker. Shoot, do what you're doing. I don't really care too much. Don't get that boy. You see, I'm a snag guy. Call for that. You ain't even got call for the ISO. You can do what you want to do for real. So. I'm gonna just speed boost around. You see how he on the side? He ain't even on the side. You see, I'm just dunking. Just keep dunking on him. Keep practicing dunking on him. Necessarily. See how his body, like, if his body shift, because most people, if, if you like ice on him, this is really good for ice on him. If you really ice on him type stuff, and say, like, just pay attention to this little circle I got. Say they, like, running alongside from you right here on the side. If you driving, just use the dunk meter. You're gonna get a contact dunk every time. The more you use the dunk meter and the, the like, you got your dunk packages and everything on this game. The more you learn your dunk packages and you learn, cause you gonna get the same dunks if you create your dunk packages. Like I just showed you, I put them on. I've been using my same dunk packages basically since the game come out, came out. So I know like, if I see an animation trigger, I know when to release it. Do not release it when you think you re you like really releasing it. Cause it's like a little bit delay. You have to release that mug like, Say like right here. I, I probably let go by now. I don't know if that's really helping y'all too much, but I probably already let go right now. Like you have to let go damn near. Like, I don't really know how to explain it too much. I'm trying to think of how to put it into words, but you have to let it go before you think he finna slam that bitch. Like you have to bend let it go depending on the animation. Some animations are slower. So you really just have to know what animation you getting for real. All right, let me show y'all. Um. All you want to do is really just speed boost, bro. You're going to get it. Watch. Watch I get it every time. They're going to be in my way, though. Look at him. What is you doing? Move. Okay, look. 
he alone now he ain't gonna work right there he won't really alongside you see how he just standing straight like this is another bad example like if somebody kind of like in this like they feet is like straight towards you like he not really like running alongside of me they playing me a certain way because i'm slashing now if it's like you playing against somebody like any other type of way if they just standing straight at you in the paint you need to step back and shoot or something like that like if they hold you like that but you want to be able to if you ice on or anything you want to be able to get somebody running alongside of you on your side like to your left look at the marker you see the little circle right here you want them to be running alongside of you then you just activate the dunk meter every time you activate i promise you're gonna get a contact dunk sometimes if somebody got high intimidator or they know you're gonna do it this is the thing though if they if they if people start predicting that you're gonna start doing it that's when you really need to shoot like if they own that shit, they just thinking you finna dunk every time bro so if that's the case if they like own that you need to just go on see look he really ain't on the side for real. you gotta let it go early bro and another thing hold up like yeah if people really know if you finna dunk it for real that's when you need to be shooting like if they like oh yeah he finna he finna press it down at this time and they get the blocking you and stuff that's when you really need to um start shooting or stepping back again my six I already left the card on there i'm gonna put the uh my six video at the end of this video too but yeah man y'all need to just start um using it if people are like i say really use it if they run alongside of you or if you just need to bail off his last seconds hold up let's see no he ain't running alongside him see i can really shoot if i want to it ain't gonna work you see it don't never work if they run it if they like straight in front of you but like this is a good way to practice for real in my career i say or if you got a friend i doubt anybody got friends on this game because a lot of people left but if you got a friend just let them just go to there and just let them run alongside you in a gatorade facility you're gonna get it let me see can i get them alongside you see he, he you see he on the side right y'all seen it when you when they on the side like this this is this is like right here you see how he on the side of me you every freaking time if you got a high driving dunk and somebody is on the side of you dunk that mug every time don't care and now if somebody helping and all that do that but if you want to dunk or if you're just looking to take a two do it bro and just time it and learn the contact dunk you're not gonna people say oh the dunk meter trash oh it's delayed no 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 bro i perfected this dunk meter bro like you know how many clips i got with the dunk meter bro just timing it right every single time bro like if you really want to be a guy that you gotta you gotta use it i used it early on in the game so now like that's how I really got like a high win percentage. I used it early on in the game. This is what makes me different. Like, and my win percentage could be like higher, but you got teammates that you can't control. Everything ain't about win percentage, but I'm just bringing my win percentage into the damn conversation to show y'all that I really do this shit for real. Like, can't nobody stop me from scoring ever. You can't stop me from scoring with this dunk meter. Now imagine if you had a 99 driving dunk and all that stuff. Like, but if they on the side, you gonna rise up on them you gonna rise up but if they have like a higher intimidator they might contest you sometimes or they might make your bar very little and that's why you really just got to come to career and just practice like if you really want to perfect it bro a lot of y'all play 2k every day i'm pretty sure y'all just want to perfect if y'all need any more tips let me know though but for real that's all you got to do is just come to my career bro and just perfect it. and you can get your badges your slashing badges easy as hell with the dunk meter oh let's see can you run a look look they don't want to help for real so that's when you can just shoot step back and green that bitch they gonna sit in the paint. They can't do nothing. If you get sharp take like me, you can run slashing or sharp take. Slashing take is sharp take, bro. If you run slashing take, that's motherfucking sharp take. I'm gonna tell y'all why. If you're using the dunk meter, cause you slash and take. What they gonna do when you use slash and take? If you dunking on them the whole game, what is they gonna do? They gonna step the fuck back, and that's when you splash that bitch. Let me see. Can I get him on my side? He ain't on my side, but on your side, it don't really matter. This another thing. I'm finna put in perspective. You see how I told y'all in the beginning, if somebody is standing in front of you, they're gonna get the contestant on it. If you got, I got sharp take, but like, it make me hot anyway. But like, if you got slash and take and somebody is standing directly in front of you like this, you're gonna get a contact dunk every time if you use the dunk meter. That's another good thing about the dunk meter. Y'all gotta really start using it, bro. It's a skills gap, bro. Not everybody can get jiggy with it. Not everybody can do everything with it. And it really puts you apart from everybody else in the game. That's why I use it. Y'all see me damn near every time I get a contact dunk or go up, you get it. If you're not getting contact dunks on your build, it's because you're not using the dunk meter. You have to use the dunk meter to really like go crazy. And this it's really skill, bro. If you learn the skill, you're gonna be dominating everybody. Everybody ain't dominating. It's easy to stop. It's not really necessarily easy to stop unless you have, I say gold intimidator and a high block rating. 
But I'm pretty sure if you got gold intimidated, your block really high. But still, see you running alongside of me? Contact dunk every time, bro. Contact dunk every time. Now, the only way, like, you will really be getting locked down if it's a center. And just shoot. I'm telling you, if you lock down and they know they getting on you for, like, slashing, that's when you shoot, bro. That's when you motherfucking shoot. That's why I usually run sharp take, because can't nobody really do nothing. See? Hey, every time. I might be timing it early and all that, but I know the window when to release it to at least be able to make the dunk. It's no X's. Y'all haven't seen me messed up on the dunk timing out one time. It might not be the best, but I got an idea on where to let it go. You have to let it go. You have to let it go like a good a good amount of time before you even the ball go into the rim. Cause you can't you can't match it up, bro. You have to like once you get the timing, you gonna know when to release it, bro. Like if y'all got any more ideas, I said ideas, my dumb ass. Y'all got any other like more things y'all want me to explain better or anything, just drop a follow on my Twitch. I'll be letting y'all know and all that, like as I play. Or shit, y'all could just drop it in the comments. If I got time, look, I'm here on the side. Look, sometimes it don't work. You see, sometimes that shit happens. It's rare as fuck if that shit happens for real. Then that's just these fucking OP ass AIs on Hall of Fame. But a real player, bro, if they smaller than you or if they even the same height, if they not seven foot, no six ten locking on, they not blocking that ever. They have to be a damn near Hall of Fame badge level motherfucking lock to stop you every fucking time. The dunk meter just so fucking good for real. Or I think if you like press it at the same time, let's see. See, it don't work every time. These niggas got these motherfuckers on Hall of Fame. They work most of the time. These fucking AIs. Like, regular human beings, bro. You was blocking that shit every fucking time. But, um, I'm gonna get the fuck out this game, though. I appreciate the support on all the video. Hell no. Nah. Let me send no VC. I don't give a fuck. I appreciate all the support from all y'all. For real, bro. I love all y'all, bro. If y'all need anything else, just let me know. But this is really how to, um, time all the dunks and do all that shit, bro. Like, like, this the best dunks the time. All this quick drop, all the stuff I just showed you, those are the best dunks. You never gonna get blocked with that. You rarely is, unless they like really on your ass. And like I said, if you if you playing and they getting a block in your shit and all that, even though you're using the dunk meter, you timing the right, you perfected it. Start shooting, start switching it up. Don't do the same shit. Don't just be rim running all the time and doing that. You gotta know when to shoot and when not the motherfucking shoot, bro. Like I perfected this shit for real. Like I am a, I'm like fucking Neo in the motherfucking Matrix. Like I perfected the fuck out of this shit. But I love y'all. Y'all need any more tips? If y'all want any more tips on anything, how to hold defense, anything, let me know. Cause I'm a guy a lot too. I'm a guy a lot. Majority of the time, I'm stopping anybody that's on me. Majority of the time. But I love y'all boys, and I'm out, bro.